Here I am amongst the palm trees again at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital make, making one of my videos. I've just had a really, I've had to go out uh, away from the ward despite being in a lot of pain um, because it's been a really um, distressing evening. Uh, the frail older lady uh, opposite me, he doesn't speak English, he's Moroccan so he's been getting by in, in French. Um, has been told that she's going home uh, today and she's all happy about that and her daughter was informed so her daughter went away and she went and sat in her bed with her coat on and all ready to go home and nothing happened and nothing happened three hours later I decided right I'm gonna have to ask what's going on and it turned out that a fax had not arrived which surely you get well why are we using faxes to begin with in the NHS given that the answer is all about digital and apps if we're still using faxes um, and then why didn't they get a report that the fax had been received and then if they heard nothing from transport why did they then not just follow it up with a phone call I, I see a reason and it's not busy tonight by the way it's really quiet um, then um, because she speaks French I've been asked to inform her of things so that's put me under pressure so I've been taking my morphine and then going across to her and saying right they're saying it will be 90 minutes and I made it two hours because I thought well that'll be NHS 90 minutes which will mean two hours and she's happy about that and she's again she's ready and she's smiling and and, and whatever she, she she's an old lady I don't know how old she is is uh, 80s maybe late 80s something like that and then uh, um, uh, they come to see me to say to pass on to to the patient that actually the transports in Peckham. Uh, I, I'm thinking, well, this, this Moroccan lady is going to mean absolutely nothing to her. So, in other words, I said, look, in she's not going to be leave. She's not going to be leaving. So, we are now going to have to break to her that um, she's going to have to stay. And she hasn't got her daughter here for um, support. She's got myself and another patient who's helping out. Um, so um, I've had to really push to get them to help her to get out of her outdoor clothes and make her comfortable and all of those things. It's been such a comedy of errors and it's cost so much time, so much energy, so much money in a hospital that is seriously stressed. Why are we using antiquated systems? Why are people unable to communicate? Why are people unable to exercise basic common sense? And why is it dependent on other patients who just happen to have more skills than the staff on duty? Uh, to take over and and sort it now um, in, involved now in making sure the transport is ready to take her at nine o'clock and I have said it had better be ready at nine o'clock or I personally will be chaining myself to either some thing or someone until it's done and you know I wanted to be able to rest today and I haven't been able to because it's been we've had a sepsis incident as well with um, excrement on the floor uh, a woman uh, um, allegedly with sepsis and um, had to, to, to pressurize to get that properly cleaned that is Chelsea and Westminster Hospital the Secretary of State for Health and care spent a night shift here obviously as a PR exercise because you can bet your bottom dollar he did not see the reality what I experienced today from start to finish it's been a comedy of errors uh, including meds errors including meds cabinets being left wide open so that anyone uh, say with drugs issues could have helped themselves to anything they wanted and it was another patient who spotted that this is disgraceful that this happens that there's such a decline at the weekend and it needs to be looked into 
I've I've been so upset. I've had to because watching this lady being so upset has made me upset. I didn't want her to see me upset, so I've come. Um, I've I've come out and uh, just gone and sat in the in the palm trees. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I just wanted to commit it to 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 video because it's just I, I feel wound up like a coiled spring and I, I, I just you know the staff have started to defer to me because because they did and it's not the shift that are on now they've inherited this massive cock up from the daytime people and um, and they are they are hugely brilliant the ones that are on at the moment particularly the healthcare assistant who is so full of common sense, you know, just put her in charge and we'll all be fine and we can all go home. End of rant. Thank you.